I'm satisfied. Now I just have to add the switch layers. So I'm going to add a switch layer. Call it Captain America. Grab the puppet layer, put it into Captain America. And now I'm going to create a switch layer for every single set of switches, uh, sprites that I have. So I'm going to create a switch layer and call it Ducking Punch. Then I'm going to grab all these Ducking Punch sprites and put them into Ducking Punch. And I'm just going to keep doing the same thing with all the other ones. Got Idle. Grab the Idle sprites. Uh, jumping. Grab the jumping sprites. Put those in the jumping layer. Uh, kicking. Grab all the kicking sprites. Put those into there. Uh, poses. Grab all my posing sprites. Put those into there. Um, I got my strange one. I'll put that strange into the pose list. Throwing shield. Grab all my throwing shield sprites. It's weird. I have throwing and throwing shield. It looks like I duplicated that on accident. And walking. Now, you don't normally have to do every single set of sprites. You only do that if you think that you're going to use them all. And since I'm using Captain America as a main character in 10 episodes for another series, I figure I might as well just go ahead and grab all of them. All right, next what you want to do is somewhat align them. Uh, so what I'm going to do here um, is I'm going to take my puppet layer and I'm going to uh, zoom in pretty far and then put his feet at the bottom of the screen like so. Then I'm going to go through all of these other um, these layers, and I'm going to just put the feet on the on the very boss base of the of the program, and I just use that as a tool to help me find the flooring. And then next I'm going to make sure that they are somewhat centered, like he needs to be brought it to the left. And there we go, the character is finished. So that is how you make a sprite character. I mean sometimes you, you want to go through here and make sure that these are good um, within each of the little different layers. Like uh, like I said, I just did the main switch layers, but you're also going to want to go through every, especially like with the poses and stuff. You want to you're going to want to go through every single one of these. But um, but for the most part, if you did it correctly, um, if you followed my instructions, only the pose layers and then any special layers um, are going to have to be aligned per each layer within the switch layer. Um, and I'll give you an example of that. Like if I go to uh, my walking, every single one of these should be should have its base correctly. You see how, how fluid this movement is? And that's because I have the same exact size on all of those sprites. Um, so that's why you want to um, do it in a program other than just... So there's the character. 
And that's how you make a character in a sprite animation character in Anime Studio.